Hello everyone, I'm Gucci Westman and I am Vogue Scandinavia's beauty expert and today I'm going to talk you through the perfect base. So I'm going to start with my, I really love Symbiome, it's a probiotic base. Serum, it's really gentle. Super light. But also remember, anytime you, you spend or put a little more effort into your skincare routine, you're also giving your skin this microcirculation opportunity. So you're really stimulating that, and which in turn will stimulate collagen reproduction, elastin reproduction, all of those things. So you want to take every opportunity you can to stimulate your muscle, your circulation. So then Noble Panacea has really interesting um, one-time use moisturizing pads. And this is also very nice for travel, you know, for, I guess, hygiene, of course, and it's really rich. I like to really layer up my skincare because <laughs> I feel like I'd rather be super hydrated looking and luminous than dry and cakey. And my skin is dry. I have rosacea that I developed later in life. So I'm always looking for things that are soothing and calming for my redness and inflammation. And so I, every, every product I use focuses on somehow on soothing, repairing and reducing inflammation. So Tammy Fender is a beautiful brand. It's super pure and I love this plant milk and it's really focused on reducing inflammation and redness and calming, super calming. I'm a big fan of facial tools and Rifa is has incredible options for facial tools. Anything where you can achieve this kind of uh, activation in your skin and you can reduce inflammation is I'm I'm in and I'm so this is a really great tool that you can use before makeup you know after you've done your moisturizing routine and it really kind of helps sculpt your face tighten your face really ignite everything and it's nice and cooling and obviously now I won't spend as much time but you can spend you know a good 10 minutes and it's really nice also here um, for lymphatic drainage. This is where your lymphatic drainage points are, you know, just between your collarbone and your neck. Now I'm going to go into um, some foundation. And um, I think that, you know, when I think of Nordic beauty, I always think of the naturality and the, the vision of holistic beauty and of course and I guess you know because I grew up in Sweden my dad is Swedish and we moved to Sweden when I was 10 and I don't think of Nordic beauty as very um, heavily transformed as a beauty I think it's more of an enhancement of how you look in my approach for makeup I always use at least two colors of foundation you know because I don't want to use like just one color because then you end up looking like foundation face. So I use one shade that is my skin tone and then one shade that's slightly lighter. And I'll use the slightly lighter shade around my, this kind of triangle area or T-zone. Um, I have most of my redness around my nose. Of course, sometimes it comes up here, sometimes it's on my chin. I'm going in with my foundation brush and I'm gonna Go in kind of where it immediately screams out using the lighter color, Vital Skin 2. And I sometimes shift with the seasons. If I have more color in my face, I might go, you know, three and five. In the summertime, I like to pretend that I'm tan, so I might just go darker all around. So, and you don't have to be heavy handed, you know? And don't worry, these little spots, those are things that we will approach later. So now I'm going to add in, and I like to, anywhere there's deeper 
colors. You know, around my eyes, my eyes are a little bit saggy. I'd like to lift them up with a lighter shade, okay? So as you see, mixing these two shades, now I'm just blending the two. I have this pigmentation above my lip also. But mixing the two shades ends up looking quite nice. And it looks very much like it could be my skin. I do have, you know, substantial pigmentation in, you know, the perimeter of my face, but I like to kind of patch the two shades together. And it's all very intuitive. I'm gonna continue just showing you how I just target these little spots. Building, but, you know, spending time on the initial canvas is really gonna be rewarding. You know, spending time on this part, then you can have so much more fun with the colors, with the cheek colors, with eyes, with lips, all of those things. This is my foundation. How's it look? So, everyone, I have so much more to share with you. So please, please don't forget to subscribe to Vogue Scandinavia. I'm so excited to be a part of this incredible adventure. Bye, thanks.